three, two, one. Hey guys, welcome back to Nerd Crave. Hey, check it out, I got a new shirt. I've been waiting for this shirt to come in the mail for almost a month now. TurboGrafx-16 is my favorite system and I'm wearing this shirt today because we're gonna be taking a road trip back to the 90s. So a friend of mine, my roommate actually, he was cleaning out his man cave and uh, he gave me a whole bunch of stuff from subscription boxes and loot crates and things like that that he didn't want and uh, he was just kind of decluttering and he dumped it all on me. Some of the stuff was pretty cool, some of the stuff I gave to my kids and my daughter gave some of that stuff to her friends, but a few of the really cool things that uh, I did keep out of that pile of stuff, uh, a few figures. I got a uh, really cool Planet Express figure here, which I really love. I love Futurama, excellent show. Uh, this cute little uh, vinyl figure, uh, Alien Xenomorph, uh, I kind of like that. Uh, you've probably seen it in the background of some of my videos. And this little uh, Frodo the Hobbit figure, uh, just things like that. I got quite a few different things like that. Uh, the actual mouse pad that I'm using right now, uh, Army of Darkness, that's kind of a epic mouse pad so I've been using that for a while so I got a quite a quite a bit of stuff out of that uh, you know pile of loot that I'm actually using but the one thing that I'm gonna make this video about today he gave me a couple of boxes of and one box see well not sealed but almost a uh, brand new sealed box of Fleer X-Men trading cards from 1997 and I wanted to share the experience with you of time warping back to 1997 and opening a full or almost full box of brand new uh, trading cards and have a look, see if we can get a complete set going. So stick around, I'll be right back. Alright guys, so this is my uh, box of Fleer X-Men trading cards. Show you the box here, we're going to do an unboxing, we're going to open all the packs inside and see what we get. So 1997 Fleer Corp Marvel Entertainment Group, let's see what we got in here. Alright, so this box has been opened, there's a couple of extra things that he threw in here. There's this Penthouse Collector Series. I don't know if maybe we shouldn't open those on camera. I don't know if YouTube would like that. What do we got here? Uh, some fantasy lovely ladies. Maybe we'll set these aside too. Alright, what do we got here? Benchwarmer 1992 Premier Edition. Yeah, maybe we'll open these. And then we've got some Topps Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3 cards. 8 movie cards, 1 sticker. So we'll set those aside. So here we've got an almost full box, it looks like it's missing three packs, an almost full box of Fleer X-Men, five Marvel cards per pack. So let's start opening these up and see what, see what kids would have been getting in 1997. Gotta figure out how to open these. Alright, so what have we got? Wolverine Timeline, CIA. Silver Samurai, Supervillain. Genesis, Dark Riders. Cyclops, Haunted Mansion. Apocalypse, Supervillain. Oh, that's pretty cool. Not bad for our first pack. Let's see what pack number two has. Mariko, Wolverine Timeline. Sidekick, 
Wolverine Timeline. Chamber, Generation X. Deadbolt, Dark Riders. Ooh, Psylocke. I used to love her Haunted Mansion series. Let's see what pack number three has for us. Spiral, Supervillain. Another Psylocke. In the X-Men series. Gambit. Oh, that's a cool looking card. It's on the back here. Gambit has been many things in his young life. A thief, a heartthrob, and a hero with the ability to convert an object's potential energy into explosive kinetic energy. That's pretty cool. There's X-Men from Age of Apocalypse. Blood Scream, supervillain. Let's dig into another pack here. Beast, Gladiator, Gauntlet, M, Generation X, Phoenix, X-Men, get down to the next layer here, what do we got? These are some pretty cool cards, you know, nice quality, nice printing, it's really awesome, I mean, this is, I mean, what is 1997, that's... And 20, that was 20, 23 years ago these were made, and they're still brand new in the package. This is a real treat. Shadowcat, Banshee, Sugarman, oh, Domino from the X-Force. Very nice, very nice. Getting a nice little stack here. Once we're done, I'm going to put all these in some trading card sleeves that I happen to have handy. Let's open another pack. Wow. I haven't had this much fun since the 90s. What do we got here? Fatal Attractions from the Wolverine Timeline. And another good Wolverine one from the X-Men. There's Penance from Generation X. And Longshot from Superhero. And what's this? Ooh, Lady Deathstrike, Supervillain. Moving on here. What do we got? Oh, that's pretty generic. Just Strong Guy from X Factor. Havoc from X Factor. Here we go. Iceman from the X Men. Some of these are sticking together a little bit. Mondo from Generation X. Ooh, the Blob, supervillain. I don't know, the Blob never seemed like a supervillain to me. He seemed like a side villain to me. Like a henchman, really. Crack open another pack here. What do we got? Back again, Wolverine timeline. That one's pretty cool. Doug Locke from Excalibur. Ooh, Omega Red, supervillain. Cinch from Generation X. Ooh, there's a good one. Cable from X-Force. How many packs come in the box, I wonder? There's quite a few packs in here. It was missing a couple of packs in the box. It wasn't a complete box, but nonetheless, this is still pretty cool. Here we have Sabretooth from X-Factor. Ooh, Weapon X from the Wolverine timeline. Tusk from Dark Riders. Corsair. Ooh, there's a personal favorite of mine, Magneto. Let's get another pack open here. I can't believe the condition of these. They still smell brand new. They still feel as if they were just printed yesterday. Ooh, we got Mystique, there's a good one from X-Factor. Bishop, there's another good one from the X-Men. Jubilee from Generation X. Black Tom Cassidy, supervillain. Iceman from Haunted Mansion. 
Getting a nice little stack going here. Be interesting to see what these all look like laid out in a book. Moving on to another pack here. So guys, what's your memories of opening uh, old trading cards back in the 90s? Tell me some of your stories in the comments below. I would love to hear some of your stories of the crazy things you found opening packages back in the day. Oh, here we got Forge for the X-Factor. Skin from Generation X. Life Force from Dark Riders. Shatterstar X-Force. Rogue, another personal favorite of mine from the Haunted Mansion series. Getting quite a pile of garbage on the floor here. Oh, there we go. Colossus from Excalibur. Sentinels, supervillain. Those were pretty good villains, really. The Sentinels were awesome. Boomer from X-Force. Holocaust from Age of Apocalypse. Albert, supervillain. Again, not really a supervillain, more of a villain henchman. Ooh, here's a favorite of mine. Nightcrawler from Excalibur. M-Plate. Archangel from the X-Men. Kane. Alter Beast from Age of Apocalypse. There's quite a few packs in here. Alright, who we got this time? Random X-Factor. Broken Claws from the Wolverine timeline. Cyclops, that's a good one. Spine from Dark Riders. And Mojo. Oh, we got another copy of Mariko. That's our first double. There's a good Logan from with Captain America in the background from Wolverine Timeline. Oh, we got Chamber from Generation X. Deadbolt from Dark Riders. Oh, and there's another double, Psylocke from Haunted Mansion. Alright, two doubles so far. Not too bad, really, considering how many we've opened. Moving right along, we got Blood Oath here from Wolverine Timeline. Some of these are stuck together. Oh, a different version of Rogue from X-Men. I like that. Mr. Sinister. Oh, here's our first Deadpool. And I think this is a different version of Wolverine, yeah, from the Haunted Mansion series. Alright, so we've got Cannonball from the X-Men. Toad, again, they're calling them supervillains, but he's not really a supervillain. Raza. Colossus, that's a good one. And Professor X from the Haunted Mansion series. I'm actually curious about this Haunted Mansion series, because the artwork on this is indicating that it's kind of a, you know, fairy tale version of the X-Men, and I'm not really familiar with it, but uh, I'm curious if that goes along with the comic series or part of the animated TV series or something that I'm not familiar with. Here's a more typical Professor X from the X-Men. Strife. White Queen. Maverick, superhero. Storm, Haunted Mansion. Again, she's wearing, she's like on a broom. She's wearing like a witch's hat. I don't know if this is some kind of Halloween special or something, this Haunted Mansion thing. I'm not familiar with that series. Boy, there's quite a few packs in here, eh? What a score. Blast from the past, man. I got my Turbo Graphics shirt on because in 1997 I still would have been playing my Turbo Graphics and uh, opening cards, 
drinking some Dr. Pepper or some Bark's Root Beer. Alright, we got another version of Logan. No, this is the same one, so that's another double. That's our third double. Uh, Beast from the X-Men. Juggernaut. Warpath. And Lilandra. How many of you still collect trading cards and that sort of thing now, uh, you know, other than sports cards, obviously, but, you know, pop culture trading cards, they've kind of gone by the wayside over the years. They're not as popular as they once were, but uh, I'm sure having a lot of fun breaking this apart. So here we have Department H, Sidekick, Banshee, Sugar Man, that's weird. Oh, there's Domino again. I think that's a double, yeah, if I remember correctly. Pretty good luck here with not getting too many doubles, though. I'm pretty happy about that. And we got back again. Douglock, I think that's another double. Omega Red. Cinch, I'm pretty sure that's a double. And Cable, that's definitely a double, so I spoke too soon. I'm getting a bunch of doubles now. There's Colossus. Sentinels, again, that's a double. Boomer, that's a double. Holocaust. Legion, <laughs> that one's kind of cool. Boy, how many packs are in here? Wow. I remember going through this a couple of years ago. I found a box of DC supervillains and superheroes cards on eBay, and I bought them for, I think, about 20-odd bucks or something, and I did the whole kind of opening it. I didn't do it on camera, unfortunately, because I wasn't a YouTuber back then, but uh, I managed, in the course of two or three different sets that I bought to complete the run, and then I sold the run for, I think, about $200, and I probably spent about $40 getting the loose parts together, so that was kind of good. So here we have Sauron, Storm, ooh, X-Men Checklist, that's good. So apparently there are 99 cards in this run altogether. So there's a good chance with the loose ones that I also have that we should be able to get a complete set going here. I'm going to keep this checklist off to the side. A couple more stuck together here. Yep. Alright, Blood Scream, I think we've seen that one before. Cyber. Orphan Maker, Hurricane, Husk, Gambit, but that's the Haunted Mansion version, uh, Locus, not familiar with her, down to the last three packs guys, bear with me. Once I open these last three packs, I'll cut away and come back when I've got these all in uh, in the binder, and we'll show you what they look like all together. Here we have Spiral, Psylocke again, but I think that's a different version of Psylocke, uh, Gambit, X-Man, we do have that, that's another double, Gladiator, that one's pretty cool. Alright, we have Nightcrawler, M-Plate, Archangel, I'm pretty sure that's a double, Kane, pretty sure that's a double, Alter Beast, that's a double. I'm only going to put the unique cards that I have in the binder and keep the doubles aside. Last box here, guys. Oh, there we have CAA, I think we've had that before. Silver Samurai, Genesis, Cyclops, and Apocalypse. So we can call that box done before I shut off here. We'll just open these two. 
Let's see what these 1992 bench warmers are. This is kind of interesting. I think these are like comedy kind of sexy cards or something. Yeah, I don't know if these are too appropriate for YouTube, but I guess there's nothing terribly inappropriate about them. Everybody seems to be fully dressed. I've got like a bio. I don't know if these are like uh, supposed to be models or something like that, but uh, kind of funny anyway. Not sure who would have bought these. Probably 12 year old boys would have bought these back in the 90s, 1992. Set those aside. And then open these Topps Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3 cards and see what this is all about. See what the quality of these cards is like. That's ah, kind of interesting but doesn't seem as cool as the Marvel cards. I love the Ninja Turtles but these cards don't really seem very well planned out. They basically just seem to be little captioned screenshots from the movies so we'll set those aside and I'll be back in a few minutes guys. All right guys I'm back and guess what great news is I have a complete set here. So starting with the checklist I have zero the checklist and then one to ninety nine so this is what a complete set of these cards from 1997 looks like. I actually have quite a few doubles. I probably have almost enough to make another complete set with the open cards that I also got along with this. This is a real gem. This is a real treasure. I'm happy to be able to share this with you guys. These things were all the rage back in the 90s and I can tell you I'm still pretty excited to own these today. Thanks a lot for sticking around, guys. If you'd like to see more videos like this of me discovering great things from the past, opening them up, and sharing them with you, please let me know in the comments. Comment down below. Like this video if you haven't already. It just lets me know that uh, this is the kind of thing you want to see more of. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already because we will be putting up at least one to two videos a week of all kinds of cool stuff from unboxings to movie reviews, video game reviews, collection reviews, pickup videos, all kinds of things because that's what this channel is about. It's about everything nerdy and bringing it all together under one roof. So stick with me guys. Hit that bell notification icon so that you'll be notified every time I put up a new video. Have a great day, guys. Stay classy.